Hi, I'm Jimmy and I work for Ronseal. Me and my colleagues at Ronseal have created loads of content to help you get the DIY done as quickly and as painlessly as possible. So we're going to prove to you that it does exactly what it says on the tin. In this video, we're going to talk to you about how to repair damaged wood, whether it's inside or out, and we'll also tell you what to do with rotten wood as well. Whether you've got an old rotten window frame or a chip set of drawers, then wood fillers are pretty much an essential to make sure you can get that wood prepared and ready to be protected and decorated. We have different types of fillers depending on your job. First of all, we've got Ronsil's multi-purpose wood filler, which is great for small general repairs inside and out. Next, we've got Ronsil's high performance wood filler, which is great for the toughest jobs and it gets it done quickly, drying in 30 minutes. Be careful though, because it has a high odor, so make sure you open your doors and windows when you start the work. Start by testing the colour to make sure you're happy, before lightly sanding the area you're going to fill. Use a damp cloth to wipe away any loose bits. When using our high performance filler, there's a little bit of mixing involved beforehand. In your tin, you'll find some hardener and filler. Mix a pea sized amount of hardener with a golf ball sized amount of filler. Blend in until all one colour. For our multi-purpose wood filler, you skip straight to the filling. Just pack the filler firmly into the hole or crack, leaving it slightly raised above the wood. Before the filler dries, smooth it with a wet decorator's knife. After two hours, you're good to go. If the hole is quite deep, you have to go in five millimeter layers, leaving two hours between each layer. If you're using a high performance wood filler, you can do any size hole in one go. If you're dealing with wood that's experienced some form of wet rot, you'll need to make sure you harden the wet rot before you use a filler. You'll know if your wood's had wet rot because it may be brittle, soft, maybe even spongy and darkened in colour. Only when you've hardened the wet rot can you use one of our fillers, otherwise the rot may continue from within side. Begin by removing loose or crumbling wood. For the best repairs, drilling small holes into the wood means the hardener can get in deeper, but always give the tin a thorough shake. Pour some of the hardener into the plastic lid, then apply with a paintbrush. It takes two hours to dry, and if you spot any excess, scrub with a wire brush. Only when you've stopped the rot, using Ron Seal's wet rot hardener, can you start to fill the wood. Otherwise, the structural integrity of the wood could be compromised. Ron Seal does exactly what it says on the tin.